Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem, where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I am bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter your personal style, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. <laughs> Let's dive into today's festive project, a cocktail dress. Cocktail dresses are an interesting style of clothing because it's usually kind of left undefined. The most clear explanation I could find for it was something that's more dressy than workwear, but less dressy than black tie. There are a lot of styles of dresses left in that range. Since our party dress from day one was more of a fitted sheath dress, I decided I would narrow down our options and search for a shift dress. When looking for ready-to-wear inspiration, I kept finding mini length dresses, usually made out of a stable fabric like brocade or jacquard, and most had incorporated a bow of varying sizes. <laughs> Necklines also varied greatly, but these with the mock neck looked high design and more expensive. So that's the route I went. Let's check out the pattern and fabric that I recommend for this project. All right, so for our cocktail dress, I decided on something in a slightly shorter hemline than we've been doing thus far, but I wanted everything else about it to be really simple. Um, so this one has very clean lines, very modern design, um, and then it has this mock neck on it as well, um, or a stand collar, whatever you wanna call it. Here's the back view. This one buttons up the back, which if you know me at all, you know I don't love a button back situation because inevitably you have to unbutton down like at least three of these and then you put it over your head and then you get this one buttoned, maybe this one, and then how are you getting this one buttoned? You have to call in for help and I'm just too much of an independent woman. I just wanna do it all on my own. <laughs> so I don't care for the button back. Um, so I'll just, I'll, we'll just be doing a plain um, back with a zip opening. You get an idea of this, of the silhouette. It's a little bit wider, um, kind of, a, combination between an A-line and a shift dress for sure. This one does come in two other colorways. They don't list them all as one. I don't know why they do that, but I found two others. Um, there's this colorway called Aqua. Here she is in hers. The third colorway I found, this one's definitely my favorite. It's probably the least holiday, um, but it is really beautiful color combination of the lime green and like the bright bright blue um i do love it very much so that's some um different looks that you can get from this very very simple design we'll talk about the fabric of it all here in a second but first the pattern is going to be vogue 2023 all right this is a tom and linda platt pattern it's a lined dress fitted through bust has cut in shoulders Stand collar with corded piping detail, front pleat and invisible back zipper with hook and eye closure and an invisible hem. So just really well constructed garment through and through. Um, looking at this, it is lined, like they said, oh, the cut in shoulders. It's like somewhere between sleeveless and halter neck. Um, it's really, really beautiful to show just like a little bit of like the top of your shoulder, very feminine, um, very flattering. This one does have this pleat here. Um, the detail on this one that it, that really makes it kind of stand out is this um, collar with the piping in it. Not entirely sure how that is achieved, but you can see it here. So it gives it some real dimension and I don't know, just creates something really cool and interesting. And if we're gonna be doing a brocade fabric, usually they're printed, usually floral, you could do something contrasted here uh, in the piping. There is an option to maybe to do something contrasting. Okay, so the one difference from this than our version here, where's the front, is the length of it and i think that's what takes it from kind of cute and modern and fun and party like um, with this shorter hemline 
Whereas this one's like a little bit more, okay, I'm ready for maybe a business thing. Maybe it's a wedding thing. So I think if you were to shorten this by three or four inches, um, you'll get a better proportion to your body and it'll just give that more like evening party look. Other than that though, this thing is pretty straightforward. You have a center back seam. There's a zipper in here and then a hook and eye closure. All right, here's the back of the envelope. So Fabric recommendations are crepe back satin jacquard linen blends and silk crepe. And then here are some options for your lining, charmeuse, china silk, and crepe de chine. Um, I said this a thousand times already. Um, every day during the series, I feel like I've said this. But these are the fabrics that they recommended based on the season that this pattern was released. So this must have been some kind of like springtime something. Um, you can easily make this out of just about any fabric under the sun. I'm thinking you could do definitely denim, definitely corduroy, you could do sequins, you could do um, some kind of like drapey fabric, you can do a more structured fabric. I mean, the world is your oyster with this one. You can do it in so, so, so much. It would be beautiful kind of knocking off this one a little bit um, to do it in a border print. You see how this is more full in, full in, filled in down here and then it gets kind of more blue up here. So this is a great um, uh, sort of palette for a border print because it is so plain with no seams or anything else going on. So yeah, then the, these linings are perfectly fine. Polyester versions are, of these are all perfectly fine. We need an invisible zipper, a hook and eye, and the cording. So you are making your own 1 8 inch cording. So a few notions here that you do have to buy, um, including the interfacing. Sizing wise, it looks like if we're making um, the largest size, you just need two and a half yards of fabric. That's not that much, guys. That's not that much. And if we're making it three or four inches shorter, you could probably get away with two and a quarter. So, you know. Take that for what, I know there's lots of people who like to overbuy just in case. I'm the kind of person that's playing Tetris trying to figure out how in the world am I going to get all of this on this fabric. <laughs> but, you know, that's I'm working on it, okay? Um, finished garment measurements of the bust are 34 up to 48 and a half, but we don't get body measurements. So I can't tell you anything about the... Um, the ease or how this is going to fit. I can only judge it based on this version here and this version fits really, really well. So I would say maybe like three inches in the bust and just grade out the waist naturally and then maybe up to five inches in the, in the hip. The wider you make the hip, the more A-line it's going to look. So just whatever looks the most natural, um, depending on if your bust is the larger size or if your hips are the largest size start there and then just blend accordingly okay so fabric wise going back to this this is a brocade fabric right floral brocade and it tells us here that it's a floral brocade fabrication and fully lined and polyester so that's really the only information that we're going to get about the fabric which is fine because that's plenty Floral brocades are not hard to find at all. It's just really about finding one that you like. So I found three. Um, I found this one because it felt like it was a good combination of this with the roses, right? And also the beige one, well, they're calling aqua. Um, not the same type of flower, but kind of the same colorway mixed with the flower of the other one. They also have it in different colorways. So if you've had your colors done and that's important to you, you can also get it in all of these other colors as well. And that's $14 a yard. Um, it is 57 inches wide and a nice big repeat, which is important because since our, our pattern is so plain, um, we don't want to have just a little teeny tiny repeat. We want to have a big one that shows off, you know, all of this uncut fabric. All right. So that's that one um, from Fashion Wholesale Direct. Then Mood had this one that I thought was really elegant and beautiful. It's also a border print. Okay. So if you can see here how the left side of it has nice big flowers and then it kind of trinkles to nothing and then ends with these 
are they birds? I don't know what they are, but ends with whatever this is. So this would be the lower part. This would be your hemline and this would be your neckline. Um, so that's a really fun way to play with the silhouette of the pattern. And it's black and gold. And I don't know, black and gold is just, you can really wear it anywhere. So this would be great for your holiday party. But really, you can grab it for just about any evening event that you've got ever till the end of time. Um, this one is 77% polyester, but the contrasting part is Lurex, which is that metallic thread. The mood version is... $60 a yard. Okay, I know it's pricey. It's pricey. There's no way around it, but it is also beautiful. Um, and then lastly, I found from Fabrics and Fabrics this version from Anna Sui. Um, it's even more expensive than the mood one because I thought if you saw this one, then the mood one would look affordable to you. <laughs> but this one is like bright and colorful and not necessarily like a Christmas party fabric. It's just a really beautiful fabric that you would dress up with your accessories to make it suitable for Christmas time, but that you could also wear it to lots of different events, even if those events were a skosh more casual. Um, but I like watching their little videos on fabrics and fabrics. So let's take a look. Oh, doesn't that so nice? You can really get a feel for the drape and the structure of the fabric when they do this. So cool. That's the back. Stunning. Okay. And if you're wondering about being too cold with a sleeveless dress, take a look at this. Yep, that's a matching car coat. This is all very reminiscent of my holiday dress from two years ago uh, from the navy brocade, the Christian Siriano one. Do y'all remember that? This coat will be tomorrow's project, so be sure to come back for that. The combination of the two, the dress and the jacket, is just so good. If you did want to add a big bow like some of the Pinterest pins featured, you could easily extend the neckband on both sides of the center back and tie it into a bow instead of using the hook and eye. Each additional sash should be a good two feet long by maybe three or four inches wide for a nice, full, holiday acceptable bow. Thanks for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this brocade shift dress, this cocktail dress, sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. It's a super simple pattern and an easy to work with fabric that you'll be able to sew up in no time. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating that matching car coat that I showed earlier. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion sewing. I'll see you soon. Bye!